Okay, so microtransactions. First of all, what are they? Digital weapons, uh, outfits, stuff like that, yeah? Yeah, not just the outfits and weaponry, though. It's, it can be anything from, like, potions, power-ups, restoring energy for quests, uh, or activities, things like that. Um, example, I play Plants vs. Zombies quite a lot. And uh, playing through the levels, and one level you get given a a certain plant to use for the duration of the level. So you're playing through it and you think, oh yeah, great, I'm going to unlock this at the end of the level. End of the level comes, and lo and behold, this is available on the store. Oh, of so yeah, you tap on that, and uh, it's about three quid. And there's about nine or ten different plants to choose from, so it can get quite expensive. Mm -hmm. um, I read somewhere that some guy spent about £1,700 just on Plants vs. Zombies doing I, that. I read the exact same thing, but it was actually his kid. I was his kid. Oh, okay. Yeah, 1700 Yeah, pounds. that makes more and sense. And it kind then. of it puts into perspective like how yes. simple it is. so easy for them. They just mm. swipe and click yeah. and yeah. it's done. Yeah. They don't understand the money exactly. side of it, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. And, it's, uh, and building on that, um, I also read that Apple had to fork out twenty million pounds 20 for this exact million. issue. Oh, wow! Know? So it's it's not it's not a here and there problem that's happening. It's it's yeah. something that's happening frequently and substantially enough to twenty million to work yeah. up twenty million. I mean, pounds. I understand that microtransaction is it's kind of. A necessity these days because all these apps and stuff they are free uh well, freemium and, apps. Uh, they, they do need to make the money from somewhere you know because mm. if they're going to release something for free they need to invest the time and the technology which obviously that will cost money but it's it's the kind of namesake for you know racking up all this debt as you've uh, rightfully said so it's good for the industry just not so good for the consumer because it's preying on the weak and feeble yeah so pre-order is where you basically put down money for a game that's unfinished. You say, I'm willing to buy this, here's five pounds, occasionally ten, that you give to the store. Most of the time it's the, at the full price of the game. Sometimes full price of the game. And you occasionally get some benefits from mm -hmm. this by maybe an outfit, maybe yeah, so a I mean, cosmetics are not very integral to the actual game itself. Well, and then you get the, the other side of this where they've actually taken complete experiences from the game, like a level, oh, okay. some place would maybe have time trials so you have to run through levels. Yeah, sometimes where the entire system is yeah. taken out. I yeah, think, yeah given yeah. to you as a pre-order bonus, making you try and park more of your cash, or they, they actually purposefully hold back on this thing so they can release it as as as, com as paid content paid later content. on. Yeah, they, I mean, you get, get it free if you pre-order, but if you can't afford to pre-order or you just don't want to you have to pay later on down mm -hmm. the line they get more money out of you yeah. and it's usually 10 20 pound exactly and when you're paying like 50 or 60 pounds for a game you deserve to get a full complete yeah, experience yeah, exactly. not have these bits taken out piecemeal so you never get a full experience mm. and it's it's got to the stage where you need to either if you if you want this complete experience you either have to shop around get each game from different places cause each... Yeah, store exclusive exactly. DLC. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So it's, it's dividing the player base because mm -hmm. I know for a fact a lot of people will stick to one kind of game retailer. Yeah. Um, so again, that sort of dividing rather than unifying everybody under one experience. Mm. Exactly. Which surely that's, that's where they're going to make the most money and where it's going to be the most pleasing for the mm. end consumer. And it kind of boils down to being self-destructive as well because Unfortunately, we we live in a time where spare money isn't exa isn't exactly an abundant thing. Yeah. So people are having to resort to piracy to actually get yeah. a complete experience, yeah, and the developers end up just losing out outright exactly. because instead of bringing people in, yeah. they are driving people yeah. away. Yeah, yeah exactly. More than anything. Yeah. Yeah. There's not a lot we can do to counteract it. Unfortunately, though, it's more a case of. Don't pre-order stuff. Wait until it's out. Find out about the game from people that have played it. Find read reviews. Just know what you're getting yeah, into. Yeah. Don't just blindly go into a purchase mm. without thinking about it. Early access is a feature where the intended player gives the developer money and they are allowed access to an unfinished early version of the game. Oh, so it's a bit like alpha and beta testing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like paying to be part of the development. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, they give the developer their money, 
usually anywhere from 10 to 20 pounds because it's an unfinished game. The price is going to raise once it comes out of early access. They obviously play the game. Uh, they feed back to the developer, the developers um, communicate with the, the community of the game and it's, it's basically just a way for the, for the developers to build the game based around the needs and the wants of the, of the users. So it's a bit more of a serious version than uh, you know when some developers they choose you to be a beta tester for a mm. certain aspect of mm. maybe a patch update they're yeah. doing or something yeah. like that. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's a chance for the serious gamers yeah. who like that. Yeah, you kind of want to be part. It kind of filters. Yeah, yeah it filters out the rabble. It just it for people. Okay, it's it's yeah. there for people who want to be part of the process. Definitely. Yeah. The two major things we'll see early access a part of is Steam for one. The yeah. digital distribution platform for yeah. PC, yeah. The, the main one other than Origin. Yeah. Um, Steam is the only one you'll see early access on. Steam and Steam's um, Greenlight program, which is where the users of Steam, um, they see a list of games, of, of new games from lesser known developers. They vote for which game that they'd like to see backed by Steam yeah. and eventually released on, on the platform. Obviously, while this does sound like a, a fantastic opportunity for lesser known developers to get their game publicity, yeah. sales and and possibly set them up for the future especially in one case um war z, the war z. The war z yeah. yeah exactly we see um the lack of communication can actually destroy the game itself definitely the war z developers they just they just weren't communicating with their with the players um so people were kind of expecting a nice shiny polished polished up version yeah, well, of the game yeah well not even not even shiny and polished it was just a game like daisy <clears throat> that they could be that was, would be iterated on yeah, yeah. and actually improve as it went along mm, cuz the warzy was made during the hype of daisy yeah with early access you at least have to have something playable yeah. um People tried to talk to the developers about this. The developers would just basically set up a brick wall between themselves and the community. And it was it was basically like they'd taken their money and they'd run off because yeah. there was nothing heard back from them. They and had to refund it, a load of money. They had to refund it to the point where the game was pulled from Steam. Because yeah. everyone was Unheard complaining about it. normally, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think one of the key things you need to remember is just have patience. Uh, all this content is going to be released one way or the other. So you may as well not waste your time and risk being ripped off. Just sit back, relax, and wait for the developers to do their job. Uh, read up on the games, look on the forums, read reviews, find a reviewer that has similar interests to you and kind of look at their opinion. While these worlds are fictional, while these stories may not exist, while the characters that you portray never existed at all, that you can still be conned out of money time so it's just be careful do your research be patient be smart and vote with your wallet